Welcome to 3DS Max 2011. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the user interface enhancements, specifically surrounding the ribbon. The ribbon is now completely customizable, and you are no longer limited to modeling operations, but you can create many different task-based UIs. Let's take a look. A major improvement to the usability of the ribbon is the ability to customize it. If I invoke the ribbon, go to Ribbon Configuration, and Customize Ribbon, we're now given access to the Customize Ribbon panel. This is a hierarchical representation of the modeling ribbon as it exists right now. From here, we can customize all of the settings on the ribbon, create new tabs and new panels, and group tools together that we frequently use. So for example, I'll come over here and I'll add a new tab. And a new tab is added right there. And you can see it immediately shows up in the interface as new tab. And I'll, we can go ahead and name this tab, call it My Tools. And then we can begin building custom tool sets that we'll use all the time. On that tab, I can add panels. And to those panels, I can add sub-panels. And as once we start adding tools, we can add separators and row breaks and that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and let's start adding some things to our new panel. So let's configure our panel to do something other than modeling because the ribbon really covers that quite nicely. What I've done here is I've created an animation tab and I'm kind of putting the finishing touches on this panel already. We have a panel here under an animation tab we've created two panels, one called Basic Tools and one called Bones. I have a third panel called Views, and that's the one we're finishing up right now. So you can see that I've put some of our working pivots in here. I've used breaks to clean up the user interface to make it a little easier to see. You can see what it looks like over here. We're going to add a couple of things to Views just to kind of finish it up. We're going to add a hardware display with maps. This is going to let us turn on our hardware display settings without having to right click and navigate to that command within the viewports. And finally, something that I always like to use during uh, when I'm working with animation is frequently I like to reconfigure my viewports. And we can add the viewport configuration command right to the panel, but before I do that, it's not something I do all the time, so I don't need to see it all the time. So I'm gonna add in a panel break, and then I'm gonna add in the viewport configuration command underneath that. So besides having the commands on the panel, with a panel break, I now have a drop-down on the panel. And let me go ahead and change this over to text. And so now I have the ability to invoke the viewport configuration menu right from the panel. So the last thing that we're going to look at are a couple of customization options for the layout of the ribbon. Now that we have our tools created, we can actually pull off any of the tabs that we've just created to position them anywhere that we want to use them in the screen and have them available to us whenever we want to use them. We can also park these back here. And then we can switch over to ribbon configuration and we can actually switch the ribbon to a vertical ribbon. This resets the user interface so that the ribbon is now aligned to the left side of the screen and gives us the ability to have access to all of our tools and tabs at the same time while maximizing our screen real estate. So you can see that with the ribbon, it's very easy to set up task-based workflow tool sets that you can call on whenever you need them. 